Raise your hand. Who's looking for a wife? I see some people who are married and raising their hands. You are so lucky that the camera is only on me. <laughs> Otherwise, you're all in trouble. Who's looking for a job? MashaAllah. Who's looking for a house? How about who's looking for all three? Tayyib. <laughs> Dua tonight, three in one. Exactly. Dua tonight, three in one. Guaranteed, bi'idhnillah. Because it's from the Quran. Musa, alayhi salam, killed somebody by mistake in Masr, in Egypt, and he went to Median, to Yemen. When he arrived there, we all know the story, he saw two sisters trying to get water for their sheep, right? So he approached them and he asked them if they need any help. They said, yes, we are standing here because there's a lot of men over there. We, would like, we don't like to mix with the men. Huh? And Abuna Shaykhun Kabir. And our father is a very old man. That's why we are outside the house and trying to, to help uh, water the, the sheep. So he said, فَسَقَى لَهُمَا So he took the sheep, watered them, and he went. فَسَقَى لَهُمَا ثُمَّ تَوَلَّى إِلَى الظِّلِّ فَقَالْ رَبِّ إِنِّي لِمَا أَنزَلْتَ إِلَيَّ مِنْ خَيْرٍ فَقِيرٌ One point before we continue. He did not wait for them to ask for help. This is the first lesson. When you see somebody who needs help, go by yourself. Go by yourself and offer your help. Do not wait for somebody to ask you, especially if you know that this person needs help. Second, he did not wait for a thank you. He did not finish and say, so what's up? What am I going to get for this? No, nothing. He went, فَسَقَى لَهُمَا He finished, he went under the shade of a tree and he sat down and he went to Allah Azza wa Jal. And he said, Ya Allah, Rabbi, inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqir. Ya Allah, I am faqir. I am in dire need for any khayr, for any khayr from you. Musa alayhi salam at that time, no house, no wife, no job, no food, no drink, nothing. And he was exhausted. He was traveling on foot from a very long distance in the heat. And still he helped people, subhanAllah. So when he sat down and made the dua, he did not specify, even though there's nothing wrong with specifying, I want this, I want that. But he left it to the Hakim. He left it to the Alim. He left it to Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Allah, any khair from you, I need it so bad. Rabbi, inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqir. Eight words. Okay? What happened? There's something in the Arabic language called fa al fawriya Instant fa. The ayah after that said, فَجَاءَتْهُ Instantly, one of them came walking shy, modestly, and she said, my father would like to thank you and reward you for what you have done for us. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, ya akhwan. Did Musa, alayhi salam, get a wife? Yes or no? Not only he got a wife, he got a choice. Which one? Choose with one of my daughters. Choose. Huh? Did he get a job? Ten year contract. Ten year. And the, the wife came with a house and food. So one dua, just one dua, if it's coming sincerely from the heart, showing that you are in need to Allah, showing humility to Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will answer. Ya akhwan, it's not about just the words. It's about where the dua is coming from. How sincere you are, how much need you are in. Show that, show all that to Allah Azza wa Jal. And remember that you are asking Al Mujib. He named himself the one who answers the dua. He named himself Al Sami' the one who's hearing the dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you're asking, remember, ala kulli shay'in qadir. Because sometimes when we are in the hardship, the shaitan comes and close all the doors. Close all the doors. Where are you going to get a wife right now? 
Honestly, honestly, let's be honest. If someone comes to you, want to marry your daughter, no house, <laughs> no job, no food, no nothing. Musa alayhi salam was in a situation that no one, no one on earth will give them their daughter, right or wrong? Anybody here would give their daughter to somebody? Who, the first question, how much money, where do you live? Do you have an apartment? Which, uh, 